Nuhu Dahatu is a survivor of this building collapse at the live camp area of Abuja. He narrates his ordeal. Today is five days. Our uh, first day, we did not get any issue. But the second day, the one pillar in the center cracked. So as the thing cracked, we, we just run away. As we see, it's cracking like it won't fall, only one pillar. So we just leave the walk for uh, two hours. So later, we go eat, come back, we continue our casting. So as we continue our casting, that day we don't get any issue for the failure of the building. Then today, we come in the morning when we started the work. Then after uh, 3.40 something, 3.20 something p.m., then I just hear from Riverside, the building is falling. It's just falling, coming, coming, coming. Then all the building come collapse, come down. So I now decided to look of my some of my workers. I see some, I did not see some. So as I managed to look under the decking, I I I I get like six people that they are under the decking and some and uh, these six people they are winded. So I now decided to take them to hospital. He is not alone, as this carpenter, who was hands-on when the building began to cave in, shares how he escaped with his life. We're casting the decking, and suddenly the building began to collapse, so I took off, leaving my equipment behind. Erected in a swampy area, the building, it marked to be a four-story hotel, was at the third floor of construction stage when it caved in Monday evening. When they resume work, I am not sure an integrity test was carried out before they continued with this work. But the truth is that we cannot say the cause of the building collapse. There were people in the building, they, they had some of their workers here, like you had from the eyewitness. We cannot say the exact number of people that were in the building. So far, we were able to rescue about nine people. Before we came, they were able to rescue one person who they took to the hospital. We rescued two other people, took them to the hospital. So we have three people that we are taking to the hospital. Other six people are within us here now. So far, nine people have been rescued. Search is still ongoing. You can see that the heavy duty equipment are still working. And we cannot live here. This operation cannot end until we are able to get to the bottom of this building to make sure that nobody is trapped in the building. With this four story building caving in and becoming a shadow of itself, this adds to the statistics of building collapses within Abuja in the first half of the year, making it building collapse number three. The question becomes, when exactly would the lessons be learned and when exactly would stiff sanctions be meted out to defaulters? From the live camp area of Abuja, Mary Chinda reporting for Rise News.